the Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion trial. Like, this trial, this needs to be thrown out. But, of course, they're going to keep going because the DA want to catch them into something. They're going to bring down somebody. They are, like, really trying to bring down somebody. Let's listen to Lawyers for Works and what he got to say about the whole situation. When the woman was near the gun, he said he saw what appeared to be two women fighting. If the prosecution does not call this man as a witness and they leave it to the defense to call him, that tells me a lot that the prosecution is not putting on the truth. They're just putting on an extremely one side version of the story. I expect them to call him. The other witness that's very interesting is the police officer, Detective Stogner, the lead investigator in this case. The prosecution is not calling him to testify because they're saying that he's on administrative leave. The defense is saying, wait a second, he's not on administrative leave. First you told me he's getting terminated. Now you're telling me he's on administrative leave. The defense is obviously building the case that this was a shoddy investigation that we need to know about why this guy's not available, not testifying, why he was either fired or on administrative leave. Who is this guy and what did he do in this case? But let me tell you who I think the most important witness is. Oh no, wait. Why don't you go to my subs where I just did a video, IG subscriptions telling you exactly who I think the most important witness left is. For the final day of the first week of the Tory Lane's trial. The prosecution is expected to put on witnesses. They're going to play a whole tape of Kelsey's recorded interview with the police. I'm not sure how significant that's going to be. Here are the witnesses who I think will be significant. Now, I expect the prosecution to call the only sort of completely partial outside witness to this incident, and that is the resident of the home near where the gunshots went off. That individual said he heard things. He said he saw the muzzle go off when the woman was near the gun he said he saw what appeared to be two women fighting if the prosecution does not call this man as a witness and they leave it to the defense to call him that tells me a lot that the prosecution is not putting on the truth they're just putting on an extremely one-sided version of the story i expect them to call him the other witness that's very interesting is the police officer detective stogner the lead investigator in this case the prosecution is not calling him to testify because they're saying that he's on administrative leave the defense is saying wait a second He's not on administrative leave. First, you told me he's getting terminated. Now you're telling me he's on administrative leave. The defense is obviously. I'm telling you, instead of just trying to throw this case out, because, you know, in any other case, I feel like they would have thrown it out already. But because, of course, minority figures is up for grabs. We're going to keep this case going, of course. And they don't want to look stupid, neither. That's got another thing to do with it. My name is Eve the Weave. Tell me what you think about it. And the most important person in this case that we did not see yet is the fourth person that was there and they can't find him, which is the driver. I find it funny that he just up and disappeared and they can't find him. But my name is Eve the Weave. Please like, share, and subscribe. Tell me what you think about it in the comments, YouTube. I gotta go later.